Jury trials have been suspended at the Duval County Courthouse until at least the end of next month. The decision was made last Friday, leaving some waiting perhaps even longer for their day in court. Chief Judge Mark Mahan joins us via Zoom this morning to talk more about this decision. Good morning, Judge. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. So did something specific happen to prompt this decision to suspend jury trials? Well, Jennifer, the, the, the way the Supreme Court has laid this process out is we and the local circuits throughout the state have to analyze local data to determine whether it's appropriate to go forward with jury trials. And based on the spike that we saw in this community, we just determined it wasn't appropriate or prudent to try to do that under these circumstances. Back in November, I think that the, uh, the new case rate, the average new case per day rate was about 206. And then we looked in uh, the first week of January and it was about 1,250. So that's a six time increase in the uh, in the rate of new cases in Duval County and based on the guidance from the Supreme Court and a decision made with a number of the people that we've we've consulted with including Dr. Haley here we just decided we couldn't go forward at this time. So is your concern with inmates bringing the virus into the the courthouse or is it with attorneys and other staff? Well Jennifer let me say that that we feel very comfortable with the safeguards we've put in place here at the courthouse. The problem is that there's so many people that are involved in putting on a trial, and that includes the witnesses, of course, the experts that might testify, the state attorney, the defense attorneys, the police officers that are involved, the defendants, the individuals that transport the defendants to and from the courthouse, the court reporters, um, all of these myriad of people that are involved in these cases. And we just felt like because of so much virus out in the community that we just didn't think that we could, uh, we could proceed safely at this point in time. The judges wanted some finality and some some positive statement as to when we thought we might be able to uh, to get back going with trials. Uh, we felt like, to a certain extent, we were concerned about our credibility. When you set a trial date and you have to continue it and continue it and continue it, we just thought that that was a concern. It stresses the witnesses. It stresses the clerk's office in terms of uh, in terms of putting out subpoenas, and of course, it stresses the defendants as to as to when they realistically know. They might expect to see a trial. So that said, Judge, you know, what is your message then to loved ones who have, you know, someone who's at the jail, who's been arrested, and is really waiting for their day in court? Uh, that's going to be delayed, right? Absolutely. And, that, and of course, that's very troubling to everyone in the system. Uh, the state attorney's office and the public defender's office have worked uh, very aggressively to try to make sure that those people that are in the jail are appropriate to be in jail and that the uh, that those people that, that might be less of a risk to the community, uh, there's some other alternatives to get them uh, back out on the street and and awaiting trial safely. They, it's always, you know, the balancing act between making sure that you keep the community safe in terms of those people out of jail and, and uh, to make sure that, you know, the community is protected while we still maintain a reasonable amount of jail space to keep those that are truly dangerous away. And, and to be clear, you know, once someone is arrested, you know, speedy trial basically starts unless that person chooses to waive it. They are still able to be arraigned in other things based on what legally has to happen, correct? Oh, absolutely, Jennifer. And we're working very hard, both the state attorney's office, the public defender's office, all the partners in the criminal justice system are running their calendars very aggressively. We're disposing of a great number of cases still by plea, or, or through, uh, through motions or hearings or other means. It's just jury trials that, that, uh, that we remain stuck with. And hopefully uh, the, the, the rates will go down, the, we'll feel better and feel safer about being able to bring jurors back in. The, typically a trial should be commenced within about six months of the time of arrest, that's speedy trial. And, and I know it's much more complicated than that, but those time limits have been suspended. And now it's been suspended for almost 11 months, um, it's, or 10 months. It's a great concern to all of us in the, uh, in, the, in the criminal justice arena. We want to see those people get to trial and we want to see those cases begin, but we need to do it safely for all those involved. Chief Judge Mark Mahan, right now jury trial suspended until February 22nd. That could extend more based on the rates. We'll certainly touch back, base back with you uh, to find out as we get closer to that deadline. Thank you, Judge, for your time this morning. Thank you, Jennifer. It's always good to be here.